Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Space News Pod. Check this out. Starship's chopsticks are being raised. This was from yesterday, February 5th, 2022. They were raised up high and they were moved to the side in anticipation for a lift of ship 20 and booster four now this morning booster four was lifted up onto the orbital launch mount and because that was lifted up to the orbital launch mount we know that something really big is happening and the big thing is that elon musk is coming into town and will be giving a talk on the 10th at 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to try to get down there into the media pool of people down there, but you never know if I'm going to get in or not. So just stay tuned for that. So this is what's going to happen. Right, I'm going to be on the side of the road, Highway 4, if I can. I know there's a road closure scheduled for that day. The road closure is from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Central Time. So if you don't get in, you probably won't get in. So I'm going to do my best to get you the images. Here we go. We can see the uh, the catch arms, the chopsticks moving off to the side. They did this test last night. So I caught this on my GoPro, and luckily we got a uh, time lapse of it. It's very cool to see this happening. And this is the motion that they're going to be using to move Starship SN20 on top of Booster 4. Very cool. They have to lift it up higher, though, of course. Now, if you can see this, there's going to be another clip coming up where you can see the chopsticks open up a little bit. Right here, this is the clip. So watch the chopsticks. They're opening up. They're moving to the side a little bit. So now they're over the orbital launch mount, and then they'll be opening up a little bit. And you can see that. This is a time lapse, of course. This happens very slowly, like over the course of 15, 20 minutes altogether for this whole lift and uh, spread here but that's what they're going to be doing for starship sn20 they're going to be lifting it up putting it on top of booster four then opening up the arms once it's secure and in place very cool now here we see starship sn20 and the orbital rig last night the orbital tower last night but here we go soon enough you'll see booster four so what's going to be happening with this elon musk talk what is he going to be talking about? Who's going to be there? I think there's going to be a special guest. See, yesterday when I was down at Starbase, I was filming all of this stuff. And there were a couple fighter jets flying overhead. And somebody in one of those fighter jets, that person was Jared Isaacman, Inspiration4 astronaut. Also, good friend with Elon Musk. And also, one of my picks to be the captain of the first dear moon ship that will be orbiting around the moon and coming back down to earth so i think jared is going to be there i'm not sure who else is going to be there definitely vips from spacex and uh people that are involved with spacex lead engineers uh, we might be able to see gwen shutwell at some point but i'm going to be down there on the side of the road so if you want to see that let me know in the comments below and please subscribe to this channel because I go down there every day to Starbase. I film, I do my thing. And today we get to see Booster 4 up on the orbital launch mount because uh, I was down there. I wasn't down there in the right time to see the lift. It happened early today. I didn't expect it to happen that early. I expected it to happen a little bit later. And then they surprised us as usual. SpaceX surprised us. So. Now we have Starship Booster 4 on the orbital launch mount. Now, as you can see here, there are workers, there's engineers at the bottom of Booster 4, securing Booster 4 to the orbital launch platform. And Elon, of course, we think that Elon is going to be doing the talk right there at the launch site. So if I can get an invite to that talk, I'd be really excited. So Jared Isaacman, very cool. Uh, he did some really, really fast flybys of the Starbase facilities, and it was ridiculous how fast he was going. And there's video of him doing that on his Twitter page, so make sure to check his Twitter page out. Also, if you want to see more of this stuff, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell, because you know that when uh, I go live... It'll be really cool. You'll be able to see some stuff from different angles and really close-ups like these workers working at the bottom 
of uh, Booster 4, getting it ready for Elon Musk's talk here, which is going to be happening on Thursday. There's not going to be a launch, per se, anytime soon. There has to be a, a lot of stuff done to Booster 4 and to Ship 20 in order for them to launch. So what I think this is going to be is a fit test for ship 20 because it's been a while before they've done a, sh a, uh, a ship and booster fit test and since all the work that's been happening with both of these pieces of the vehicle they have to make sure that they still fit together in order for them to continue working forward on the orbital flight that will be happening sometime after february we're not exactly sure so my guess is june for the orbital flight people have said march 1st because if they get the environmental uh environmental stuff done with the faa they say march 1st let's just go for it who cares but you know what? it takes a lot of time uh that's unrealistic to say march 1st it's it's uh, unrealistic to say probably you know early march too uh they would love to do it in early march but there's still a lot of work to do Still a lot of work to do on the orbital platform. There's still a lot of work to do uh, on Starship. It looks like Booster 4, um, they're going to have to do cryo tests on Booster 4. They're going to have to do uh, static fire tests on Booster 4. They're going to have to make sure that everything, all the plumbing works uh, for the orbital launch mount, make sure the deluge system works, make sure that everything can work on those 29 Raptors in order for them to do a flight of booster four and starship sn20 from boca chica beach spacex's starbase near brownsville texas i'm from brownsville now so i moved down here a little bit ago about six months ago in order to cover this because i think it's important for everybody to see this and it's really cool to go down there and you don't really understand how massive absolutely massive this stuff is it is I don't even understand how to how to explain it. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. I've been to the rocket garden at uh, NASA. I've seen it's a skyscraper, basically. It's a rocket skyscraper, and it is one of the coolest things I've ever witnessed in my life. So, uh, at this point, I'm going to let you guys go. And uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for giving the video some likes, and I appreciate all of your support. To carry yourselves and each other. This has been the Space News Pod. My name is Will Walden, and I will see you soon.